The other option here we have is Edit Chapter Menu. So based on these chapters, and again, I'm going to set this so that every scene on the storyboard is set up as a chapter. And you can use your elevator slider here to roll through the list or move one at a time up here. I'm now going to click on Edit Chapter Menu to open up the chapter menus that you want to create for this project. What we see here is a very familiar menu for those, again, that are familiar with Arabesque 2. This is very similar to the way you set up your main DVD menu. But in this one film, this little montage of photos, this is what the chapters are going to be when you play this project. So now instead of having chapter points where you skip to them on the remote, we can actually go into this menu and physically see each portion of this project. And when we play from one of these chapter points, when we use our remote to play from here, it will play from this scene to the end of your project. Let's talk a little bit about the menus we're seeing down here below. Of course you have your buttons to remove this menu up or down or shrink it smaller or minimizing. You can hit OK to close this when you're done. Or you can use your archives button here to save some of the control settings you've set up in the menus or delete some archives that you've created here. You'll see that this drop-down menu here gives you a list of options in Arabesque 3's chapter menu. And every time you change one of these options, it'll change the options right below it here to make changes based on this menu selection. So I'm going to move this back down so I can see what's going on. But right now, this is giving you a little thumbnail of the first frame of each scene on that little project. So you can see we started out with black. The next scene's probably fading up from black to this scene. Here's this scene on the storyboard. We have the freedom to change what we want inside these thumbnails as our first starting frame or the size of these if we'd like. In the menu, the first option here is called context. Basically what it's doing is referring to the number of pages that you have for your main chapter menu. If we have more than six thumbnails on the screen, it's going to allow you to switch to the next page. So I'm going to switch to page two. We can see here, here's the last scene in that little photo montage, but this is a seventh thumbnail or seventh chapter, and this is going to allow us to see what's on page two. The Airbus 3 allows you to add up to 99 chapters, or in this case, with 99 chapters with six per screen, we can put in around 17 pages of chapter menus if you'd like. So this will scroll all the way up to number 17. I'm going to take it back down to page number one and switch to background. This is referring to when you switch on your DVD remote to go to the chapter menu when you play this project, here's what the chapter menu will look like. And your background is going to be either a solid color, a pattern, or for right now in the software, a still scene. If we're talking about color, you just simply click on select, to open up your all too familiar color wheel from the Smart Edit 4, and you can choose what solid color you'd like to use. If you'd like to use a pattern, you can select Pattern and use Select to open up your familiar image pool to choose what kind of background image you'd like to have behind your video. Or you could choose Scene. And again, currently in the software, we do our, in this version, we're working with stills, so this is not going to be an animated background for the chapter menu of this project. But you can still come in here and select which scene in which project you'd like to work with to have as a still behind your thumbnail images. So I'm going to select this scene here and hit OK. And it's going to load in that first frame of that clip in the scene bin as my background menu. There is not audio on this either, so again we are still working with a scene, but you see this is currently grayed out in this version of software. Under Title, we can change the main title of this chapter menu. Now these options that we're going to work with here in title or your chapter texts, these are global changes, which means on each page that we create with this menu, they're going to be the same characteristics, uh, font style, uh, font information. So each on each page we're going to see a similarity between your chapter titles or your chapter menus, smaller chapter texts. Under title, I'm going to go ahead and give this just a general name here. I'm just going to call this montage using your interface keyboard or your keyboard you can type that information in and change it. You can change your font style so if you want to use something that's a little more appropriate in this case I might scroll down here to the list of activated fonts and choose something that's a little more uh, wedding-ish I guess. 
We can come in here and choose what kind of text color we'd like to use, the text's overall color. If it's going to have a border, you can activate the border sliders to increase the thickness of your border or the border color. You can also add a shadow, having the shadow distance farther away based on a certain direction. When you hit OK, it'll make those changes, and we can see that it's a little difficult to see this title, so I might come back in here and increase the size a little bit, come back in here and make sure I give myself a border so I can see those letters a little better. And now it's a little easier to see this title, and you can see it's also given a little bit of a drop shadow. If you'd like to change the position of that title, you can click on Position and move this up up on the screen so now that that is a little farther up and out of the way of the stamps. Stamps refer to each one of these scenes on the storyboard of this particular project or this particular film. We can take and position each one of these thumbnails if you want just by left clicking on a thumbnail or you can move it in any place that you'd like. You can change the sizes of these thumbnail images so that the one, maybe one is particularly small, maybe one is a large thumbnail stamp. You can even change one to have no stamp, so it's only the title and position that. Just remember again that these are global changes. So whatever you do on this page is going to carry over to your next pages of your text. So you can see this is going to carry over and the chapter text menu here is also going to be changed over on this page. Back to stamps, I'm going to come back in here and if I want to, if I can select a different scene to be part of that open. So anything that you have here in the montage you can use from your scene bin to have as a still that you'd like to use. So that way you don't have to be forced to use the first frame of the scene that it referenced on the storyboard if you don't want to. Under chapter texts, each one of these stamps can have its name changed. Basically, it's defaulting to the name of the scene that you currently had on the storyboard. I had a black clip up there on the storyboard, so it's defaulting to black. So if I want to change this to maybe something like open, and maybe I want to change this scene instead of having its default, I might get rid of the name, have no name on this thumbnail stamp. So you can kind of have a little bit of a creative freedom here of what you'd like to do as the stamp size or what you want to have named as that chapter text. If you were to name your scenes in the storyboard beforehand, then these would come in already named for you. So you can see this, name, this scene was named Cart, so that's already done. But these here have the default number names as we loaded in scenes into the scene bin. So I'd probably want to come in here and change each one of these in case someone came up to the chapter menu here and saw these numbers and didn't want to have any confusion as to what these were. Chapter text attributes basically refer to the attributes of the titles here that are under each thumbnail or each scene of this project. You can click on font again to change the font. So I might come up here and use maybe an italicized CG Times. And that again globally changes this on this page and all your other pages for your texts. And again you can set up your text, your border, and your shadow colors here if you wanted to and make changes so that all of these thumbnails had different chapter text characteristics than your overall chapter title. Under border, border refers to the thumbnail stamps themselves and do you want to have a border wrapped around them or not? And you can choose to activate the slider or deactivate it by setting to zero. If you want to have a real thin border, you might set it to a two. And then you can come in here to color pattern and choose what kind of color pattern do you want to have wrapped around there. Do you want to have a solid color do you want, using this option or do you want to use one of your patterns? So I might leave it set to a pattern. Again, you have all these freedoms to flip your pattern or make it slightly transparent or colorize it using the commands of your image pool.